Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well today. I had a hair appointment today and I thought I would stop into Hobby Lobby before heading on over. Thank you everyone for stopping by. I do hope you enjoy the video. This right here, I loved that. My husband is always saying right before he leaves the house, phone, wallet, keys, phone, wallet, keys, and he checks his pockets. So I think I'm gonna DIY that with a piece of wood I have in my garage. Probably end up using my Cricut. Just make a little sign or something by the front door. I have to admit something to you guys. I, I haven't been filling up to shopping much lately. I just feel like I just don't have the need to be in the stores like I did. Anyone else feeling like that lately? Maybe once Christmas starts showing up in the stores a little bit more, maybe that'll inspire me to get out a little more often. I was trying to record items that I didn't recall showing you the last time I had been to Hobby Lobby. So that's why you're seeing more fall. And they are starting to put out a lot of their Christmas. They already have a bunch out, but there's a lot of boxes. Do you see there those boxes behind that pumpkin there? That is all Christmas items. So. They're definitely, they were hustling when I was there. They were putting it out and getting it out as quickly as they could. I could be wrong, but I don't believe these lights have a timer because the remote only had an on and off button. Although, like I said, I could be wrong about that.
I've been meaning to ask you guys, would you prefer it if I did the voiceover like I'm doing now? Or do you like it better when I'm in the store and I'm re reacting to the items as I see them in that moment? My husband says that the voiceovers just seem more professional. I personally would like to do a combination of both just because, I don't know, it kind of mixes it up a bit. If you guys don't mind, um, just leave me a comment and let me know what your opinion is. All right, guys. I felt like these were so overpriced. That was $20 for a plastic bowl and it's not even a thick one. I mean, you can get quality like that at Dollar Tree. And look at this guy. He's adorable, right? Cute. But guess how much? Yep. $25. $25. I was shocked. I was like, you're kidding me. That's why I was like zooming in. I'm like, no way. $25. I do realize they're just going to mark it down 50% off, which I believe it was 50% off here already, but I was like, come on guys, <laughs> now they're just messing with us, right? Pretty much everything I touched in this store fell over. <laughs> I'm telling you, it got to the point where I was trying really hard to be very careful, especially when it came to stuff like the little stuffed animals and whatnot. You know, it's a little like the pillow thing. You can't really touch a pillow in any of these stores because you touch one and a whole pile of them fall to the floor. It's sabotage, I tell you.
just love these Christmas villages. Aren't they pretty? I have one, but I don't bring it out anymore. It's too much work every year, you know? Okay, you guys have to tell me, are you a fan of these elves? I, I, I don't hate them, but I also just don't want one. This one here, he doesn't, he doesn't worry me so much. And this little guy here, poor thing, someone had broken his hand, look. They're made out of like a plastic or a resin, so I was a little surprised that he had been busted up so much. I wanted to get more video of the ornaments, but there were employees on the other side of the aisle, and they were stalking them, so I tried to stay out of their way. I think in a few more weeks I'll go back and I'll just focus on the Christmas trees and ornaments and a lot of that type of stuff.
do you guys have any stores that you'd like me to shop at? Any ideas or suggestions? And if it's a larger store, are there any areas of the store you'd like me to focus on? These towels were soft. I really wanted to bring some home, but I didn't. They have them in other colors too, or other patterns, I should say. I really, I was impressed with them. They felt like they were, they were good towels.
I thought this was just such a pretty little mug. And I forget the brand name, but this, I, Robert Stanley. I saw that man's name everywhere in the store. And it was the first time I've actually paid attention to it. And I was like, Robert Stanley, you know what you're doing. You've got some really nice designs. Thank you all again for stopping by. I really do appreciate each and every one of you clicking and watching my videos. It really does mean a lot to me. I feel like I say that in all, almost all my videos, but it really is nice to be able to have this community of people that come together and watch my videos. Even though you don't stay the whole time or don't comment, it's just really nice knowing that you all come back each time. Thank you so much for stopping by again. And you all have a great week. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.